Jared Johns, an Army veteran who took his own life last year. Police say he was targeted by two inmates who were blackmailing him from prison. This morning, Greenville Police announced they have charged two inmates at Lee Correctional. They are accused of using contraband cell phones to contact Johns as part of a sextortion scheme. 7 News reporter Kirsten Glavin is joining us live tonight from the Law Enforcement Center with all the details on this. Kirsten. Well, Greenville Police made the announcement this morning along with several other agencies, including the Department of Corrections, the Solicitor's Office, the Greenville County Coroner's Office, and many others. A lot of concerns were raised today, including how to keep people safe from prisoners who are already behind bars. He was an Army veteran who served in Afghanistan, a father of two and only 24 years old. We now know that at the time of his death, Jared was the victim of a blackmail scheme. In a press conference Friday, Greenville Police announced that two prisoners at Lee Correctional Institution are being charged for their involvement in a sextortion scheme that they say led Jared Johns to take his own life. We believe these two inmates conversed with Jared via a dating app, sent images of scantily clad women, and then followed up with demands for money. John Dobbins Jr. of North Charleston and Carl Smith Jr. of Simpsonville, North Carolina are now facing blackmail charges, a 10 year felony. Police say they used contraband cell phones to text John's pretending to be parents of an underaged girl. Police believe the threats led him to think he was going to be accused of a serious crime, bearing lifelong consequences. We were given a life sentence when he died. Yeah. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to suffer for the rest of our lives over our son's death. John's mother saying that her son had PTSD and that the threats were the tipping point. He wanted to be a soldier. In March, Seven News spoke with both parents at his graveside where they called for cell phone jammers to be put in prisons. Technology that would block cell signals so inmates can't reach anyone on the outside. The director of the Department of Corrections is asking for the same. No one has given me a reason, a good reason, why we can't jam cell phones. John's father hopes to push for that legislation to help others. And us hopefully going to Washington to, to speak it, maybe it'll get out there and it won't happen to anybody else. And this affected more than just John's. We learned this fall that this was just a part of a massive sextortion scheme that targeted more than 400 servicemen and women around the country. Reporting live in Greenville tonight, Kirsten Glavin, 7 News. So Kirsten, why weren't the inmates charged with anything more than blackmail? What's the decision making behind the charging here? Uh, Amy, the, the family was upset by that 10 year sentence when we did talk to them earlier. Uh, we asked the solicitor about this and he said because these inmates never told Johns to take his own life, that's why they cannot link him directly with his death. What a sad, sad ending to his life. Kirsten Glavin on the story. We'll continue to follow it. Thank you. And the